Hello students, welcome. I am Adi Chavardhan from adichemistry.com. In this video presentation, I am going to explain the radial probability distribution curves of atomic orbitals. It is an important concept in quantum mechanics that helps in understanding the idea of the probability of finding an electron around the nucleus. It is useful for IIT JE, NEET, CSAR NET, GATE, SET, IIT JAM and other university level exams. Ok, let us have a glimpse of radial probability distribution curves. These are obtained when the values of radial probability function for pi r square or nl square are plotted against the radial distance from the nucleus. The radial probability distribution curve for 1s orbital is as shown on the screen. This curve has a peak point at which the probability of finding 1s electron is maximum. It is interesting to note that the radial distance at this point is equal to the Bohr's radius of first orbit of hydrogen atom. One should also note that the probability function has zero value at the nucleus. Now this is the curve for 2s orbital and it has two peaks. The peak with maximum height is farther away from the nucleus when compared to the peak point of 1s orbital. There is a trough between these two peaks which represents a radial node. For your kind information, a radial node is a region around the nucleus where the probability of finding an electron is zero. And this is the curve for 3s orbital. You can clearly see there are three peaks and two troughs. That means there are two radial nodes for 3s orbital. Now moving on to p orbitals. This is the radial probability distribution curve for 2p orbital. It is shown in red color. It has only one peak. That means there is no radial node. It is just like 1s orbital. And now this is the curve for 3p orbital. It has two peaks and one radial node. It is just like 2s orbital. Finally, this is the curve for 3d orbital. There is only one peak. That means there is no radial node for 3d orbital. Now the question is, what is this radial probability function? The radial probability distribution function is related to radial probability which is defined as the probability of finding the electron within the spherical shell enclosed between a sphere of radius r plus dr and a sphere of radius r. Mathematically, a radial probability is the product of radial probability density and the volume of spherical shell. where RNL is radial wave function, N is principal quantum number of atomic orbital and L is azimuthal quantum number of atomic orbital. Don't be confused with radial probability density. It is the square of radial wave function RNL where RNL is the radial part of the wave function psi. Now let us derive the volume of the spherical shell. It is equal to the volume of sphere with radius r plus dr minus volume of sphere with radius r. If dr is very small, the volume of spherical shell can be written as 4 pi r square dr. 
Thus, the radial probability can be expressed as r nl square 4 pi r square dr. You can understand this concept from the following graph. The shaded area shown in the following radial distribution graph represents the radial probability of a spherical shell enclosed between a sphere of radius r1 and a sphere of radius r1 plus dr. It is also interesting to note that the area under the entire curve must be equal to 1 or 100 percent. Since the probability of finding the electron over the space from plus infinity to minus infinity must be equal to 1 according to quantum mechanical model. In other words, the sum of all the probabilities must be equal to 1. In quantum mechanics, it is also known as normalization condition. Now let us summarize the important points about radial probability distribution curves. The radial probability is always small near the nucleus. The position of principal maximum depends on n and l values where principal maximum is the largest peak while n and l are the principal and azimuthal quantum numbers. In general, for a fixed n value, the position of principal maximum moves to larger r values with an increase in l value. Of course, this is not always followed. And in general, for a fixed l, as n value increases, the position of principal maximum moves to larger r values. Again, this is also not always followed. The number of radial nodes of an atomic orbital is equal to the number of troughs in a radial distribution curve. Thus, the number of radial nodes of an atomic orbital is equal to the number of peaks in the radial distribution curve minus 1. Or we can also get the number of radial nodes from n minus l minus 1 where n is principal quantum number, l is azimuthal quantum number of the atomic orbital. Now the question is, is it possible to get the shapes of atomic orbitals from the radial probability distribution curves? You know that the radial probability distribution curves give an idea about the probability of finding the electron in the radial space around the nucleus without consideration of direction or angle. That means, these curves won't give an idea about the shapes of atomic orbitals. We should take the help of angular probability distribution curves to arrive at the exact shapes of atomic orbitals. Now test your understanding. The correct radial probability distribution curve for the hydrogen atomic orbital with the principal quantum number n is equal to 3 and azimuthal quantum number l is equal to 1 is. There are four options given. In the first option, the radial distribution curve shows only one peak. In the second option, there are three peaks with uh, two radial nodes while in uh, third and fourth options there are two peaks with one radial node but the principal maximum occurs at larger distance in case of third option since n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 1 for the given atomic orbital this must be a 3p orbital and the number of radial nodes must be equal to 
n minus l minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 minus 1 that is there is only one radial node the radial probability distribution curve should contain a trough representing a radial node so there are two graphs showing this behavior as shown in third and fourth options but the correct one is option 3 since the position of principal maximum that means the largest peak occurs at a greater distance I mean the crest with greater height should be farther away from the nucleus when compared to the smaller one I think you got this okay that's all this is the end of presentation visit adhikemistry.com for more video presentations and other information don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and put a comment all the best